everybody. I am here to do my March wrap up and my April to be read. And I want to go through the books that I read and stuff like that. I have quite a few here. So yeah, um, really quick though before I go through that, I just want to let you guys know really quickly that my boss Michelle, the author of the children's book Tom T's Hat Rack, has her ebook version for only 99 cents on Amazon, the Kindle ebook. So I just wanted you to be aware of it. I'll put a link below, but I've read this book and I think it's a really nice children's book. But I think it's like recommended for children like eight to 12 or so, but um, I could definitely see why a parent would want it, their child to have this because it puts, it's such a good message about, well, paying it forward and how little acts of kindness can just go so far. So if you have children or plan to, or like, nieces and nephews or whoever this would be a nice gift but if you want to check it out i'll put the physical links below for like barnes and noble and amazon uh if you prefer a physical copy but the ebook is only 99 cents that's so cheap that's like cheaper than a soda that's such a great deal so if you want to check it out I'll put the goodreads page below and stuff like that but you guys will meet michelle if you're going to book con um she's the one that's like making it possible for me to even go and she's just such a wonderful boss and just such a wonderful person in general so I really wanted to share with you guys her book um, I've talked about it before and I've posted some stuff on my blog so I'll put links below but it's just a really nice little story so the sale ends um, April 2nd and so I'm not sure when this video will be going up but that's pretty soon so it ends April 2nd so definitely check it out if you would like and yes and let me know if you get it or anything because if you bring it with you to book con, I know Michelle will sign it. She's such a nice person and I'll just like give you a hug because it's really nice if you do that. So thank you in advance if you do like check out this book. But moving on to the books that I read in March. The first book that I read is Crest by Marissa Meyer which is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles. This is one of my favorite series. It's such an amazing amazing sci-fi fairy tale retelling. I love it. I don't know of anyone that's read this series so far that doesn't like it, but you just get so involved and these characters are so great. And Marissa Meyer is such an amazing author. I hope she continues to write and write and write forever and ever. And then also I was in a discussion video with Kay Tastic, Little Book Owl, and Irma Gerd Burks. And so I'll put that one below if you missed it, but we just like talked about it and discussed it and you guys asked questions and things and it was, it was fun. And of course I gave this book a five out of five stars because it was amazing. So good. I love this new character, Chris, and I can't wait till we get winter. It's going to be one of my most anticipated books because Oh my gosh, I have to read about the crazy girl. So bad. I want to. So bad. The next book that I read was an audiobook, and it is I've Got Your Number by Sophie Kinsella. And if you watch my video where I talked about of my unread authors and like, you know, authors I want to read, um, I talked about how I really wanted to read a book by Sophie Kinsella. So I'm so happy that I finally got to. And I, I didn't really know where to begin. But Jamie from Ermagerd Burks had talked about how she got the audiobook from her library or somewhere, I think, and she really liked it. So I went to my library and they had the cutest little MP3 player. It's just the smallest little thing. I was just like freaking out. How cool is this? So basically, you just plug in your headphones. And um, I was like walking around campus with this in. In my car, I plugged in the um, car thingamabob that plays my music. I don't know the words, what I'm trying to say. But you know, so I listened to it in the car. I turned it on when I was like cleaning. The best ever. So cool. Um, so I wanna get more of these. My library, I found out, has tons of these cute little things. But about the book, um, it's, uh, the book centers around Poppy, who is, by the way, British, and the reader um, was also British, so it was like perfect. And I just, was laughing out loud. Like I would walk around campus and I just start busting up laughing and people would look at me like I was a psycho. But it was so cool just to walk around and have this story in your head. Like I even went running and I went jogging and I, I had this plane and it was perfect because I was distracted by the book and not thinking about how running sucks. <laughs> so Poppy is the main character and in the very beginning of the story, like first page, she's lost her engagement ring, which is obviously a big deal, but it's even more of a big deal because it's like a priceless family heirloom and her in-laws, or future in-laws, like already kind of hate her. So she's like freaking out and in all the chaos of her like trying to find it, she loses her cell phone and she finds one in a trash can 
and she picks it up thinking like, you know, I can just use this because if someone finds her ring, they need to contact her. So she gets these uh, crazy messages and stuff and basically this guy named Sam starts talking to her and the phone's previous owner apparently was Sam's like personal assistant. So he's freaking out like, why do you have this phone? It's not hers, you know, she needs to return it back to the company, it's like their property. And it just starts this whole story that was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I gave it 4.5 stars out of five and it was a really good book for my first Sophie Kinsella book. I, it made me laugh, it made me smile, it was cute in parts, I liked the romance. But there were so many parts where I was so annoyed with some of the characters, I just wanted to reach in and just like slap these people around. Um, I tried to talk about it in my written review a little bit on my blog, but oh my gosh, I just, there was so much character development, but then there was kind of a like relapse and I just wanted to shake them and ugh, the ending. But it was really good and I definitely recommend it. And now I'm really excited to read more books by Sophie Kinsella. They're just so good. They just put me in a good mood. The next book I read, I did with some other booktubers and it was for the archived read along. And it was the archives, obviously, by Victoria Schwab. She was another author that I hadn't read anything by and I was like dying to. So I was so happy to finally, finally get my hands on one of her books. And it was way better than I even thought. I gave this book five out of five stars. It blew me away. I loved the characters. I loved Wesley. I loved the whole idea behind this whole thing. I did a book review, so if you click here, it'll take you to that book review. Um, but it was just so good. Like, the, you die, and then you're a history, and she's a keeper, Mackenzie, and she's got to keep track of, like, who, you know, if a history escapes into our world, and she's got this key, and it's just brilliant. I loved it. It's hard to explain, but once you jump into it, it's, like, so easy to understand. And I really like Victoria Schwab's uh, writing style, and I just really liked her descriptions, and I felt like I was there in the narrows, and it was just so good. So good. So I definitely recommend this book. And I'll also link the um, discussion, like, live show that I did with all those other booktubers because that was a lot of fun talking about this book with them. The next book I just picked up on a whim. I think I've heard, I think I've seen some booktubers with this book. I think I remember Raylene from Padfoot and Prong 07 with this a while ago. And it's Chopsticks um, by Jessica Anthony and Rodrigo Coral? Coral? I don't know how to say words. Um, but I was interested in this because it's told all in pictures and I know at some points there's like links to YouTube videos. Um, and I mean, so obviously there's some text because like they're messaging and stuff, but very little text. So I was definitely interested in this and I like the cover. But it's a little confusing because if you read the back, it's talking about how it's about Glory who's like this piano player and she falls in love so it's like this cute romance. But the end, um, Glory has disappeared and it says, but nothing is what it seems and we must decide what is real and what is imagined and what has been madness all along. So it's kind of like, oh and I like the spine as well, <laughs> sorry. So it was a little odd because I started getting like very skeptical and paranoid and stuff like is this real and I don't know, I just kind of was like, it made me think a lot. So in the end I ended up giving this 3 to 5 stars. It was okay, I didn't love it but it did make me think and it was interesting. And I did do a written review over this so I feel like I can explain much more like what I, what I felt. But at the end I was just kind of sitting there like, what happened? What just happened? What did I just read? And I had to skim back through it. And most of the reviews I looked up online, most people did that where they had to like kind of go back like, wait a second, and then they like went back through it. But uh, it's definitely interesting. It's definitely, I don't know, it's hard to describe. But I thought it was like, okay, like pretty good. And the last book that I finished this month was sent to me and it is Half Bad by Sally Green. And I feel like this has been talked about quite a bit on within the booktube community. I unfortunately just thought it was okay. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. There were things that were very interesting about this. Like I liked the idea of it where white witches and black witches are living among humans and the white witches, which are good, are like tracking down the evil bl black witches. And there's like half bloods, which are like human and white witch. And the main character, Nathan, is like one of a kind because He's half white and black, 
which is like unheard of because that's basically like almost imagine like an angel and a devil getting together and having a baby and that's Nathan. So people are like afraid of him. Not to mention his father, the Black Witch, is like one of the most feared and most evil of all black witches. So he just hated by society this whole entire book. He is abused, he's tortured, he's thrown in a cage. It's just terrible. It's like sad. Like you feel for Nathan, like you are rooting for him, like you hope he gets out. But unfortunately, I did feel pretty disconnected with the story and I felt like there wasn't um, as much character depth as, as there should have been. I just, I struggled to connect basically. The love story kind of fell flat for me. Um, I wanted to know more. I wanted to know why the White Witches hated the Black Witches so much. We don't really get that. Um, some people might assume because the Black Witches are evil, but the White Witches seem pretty evil themselves with torturing people and stuff. So I don't know. It's very, I had mixed feelings about it. Um, I did do a written review, so I'll post that below. There are things I liked and things I didn't like. That's why I just said in the end it was like three out of five stars. I probably will continue. Um, the ending was pretty like, you know, you want to know what's going to happen next, but it definitely won't be, you know, something that I'm like counting down the days until the next one comes out, unfortunately. I also wasn't a huge fan of the pacing or the writing style. The pacing was a little slow for me and then it was pretty fast and over and that was just okay. But the writing style was just okay. It was kind of like second person and then third person and it just didn't really flow very well for me and I wasn't really connecting and I wasn't a big fan of it. But one thing I think is really, really funny is that I didn't realize this was a face until like the last day I was reading this and I read it over like the span of a week. But I just thought it was like some like random blood and this is definitely like an eye and a nose and lips and chin. That's Nathan, I guess. And I just kind of felt like an idiot for not noticing that. Now those are all the books that I read this month, like in finished, but I did start one more book that I didn't get finished and that is The Unbound by Victoria Schwab. This is the second book in the archived like series and um, she kind of made it to where the first book could end and just be a book on its own and I heard that this is how this one is as well but after finishing the archive I just wanted more and I really liked the characters and so unfortunately I'm so close like I was over halfway finished but I didn't finish it so this will be the first book that I read in April and I'm really enjoying it so far. And I just want to quickly show you what I would like to read this next month in April. So the first book that I'll finish obviously is The Unbound because I'm already reading it but I then want to pick up to All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han and she's the author of The Summer I Turned Pretty and I've been wanting to read that and I haven't yet but this is an arc that was sent to me by um, Simon & Schuster like through Pulsit and I am ex really excited to read this. It's a contemporary. I know a couple of other booktubers have already read it and gave it like 5 out of 5 stars. I'm really excited. So this will be um, started right after I finish The Unbound. And then I've got some exciting news for the week that it comes out, which is April 15th. I've got some exciting news for around that time, so stay tuned for that. And then kind of going along with that, I didn't realize this, um, but uh, so the Chicklet Book Club, I've kind of been following them for a while and I've wanted to kind of join in and like read a book with them for a month and I just haven't. Um, it's Beth June 327, Cassie Von Shea, and Ermagerd Burks. And this month they're reading a book that I have, have had my eye on, it seemed kind of interesting, and so I'm going to read it along with them in April. And that is Burn for Burn, and it's really funny because I didn't realize it's also by J Jenny Han. Didn't realize that at first. So this book is about, I think, like three girls that come together and they each have, I think, different stuff going on in their lives. And like on Goodreads, I think one of them, you know, um, something bad happened to her with a boy or something. So she's kind of protective of her little sister now with boys. One girl I know has been like made fun of because of like her ex best friend. And so she's constantly insulted and there's tons of rumors spread about her. And the third one, um, I guess that she left this island because of a boy. And now, you know, she's grown a lot and she's not the same girl anymore. I, get, I think she's trying to like get her revenge on that guy. But it just says that three very different girls who come together to make things right, will they go too far? I've heard good things about it, so I'm really excited to read it with um, the girls. I'll put the Goodreads page below to the Chick Licked, but 
yeah, I'm excited. And the last two books I'm going to show you are for school. One of them I've already read before, and that is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien and The Children of Hurin. And it's for the same class. We're currently reading this, and then this will be, I think, in like two weeks. But this was, I believed, yeah, edited by his son Christopher, so that's pretty interesting. I didn't even know this ex existed until this class. I already read The Hobbit, and I read all three of the Lord of the Rings series, and then I'm loving the movies so far, so I can't wait to reread this, though, because I've been wanting to anyways because of the movies, and it's really not very big, but I am going to have quite a bit of reading this month um, because it's my last full month of school for the semester and you know then it's summertime and I'll start my summer classes. Ugh, it never ends. Well guys let me know uh, what you thought of any of these books if you've read them, loved them, whatever. Let me know what you read this month and maybe what you plan to read this next month and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!